Yo, welcome in. My name is Sweet Phil, and today we're rolling five powerful rune words. A couple of them got high runes in it. A couple other ones are kind of budget stuff that is actually really, really good as well. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. I figured we don't really need a long intro. Let's just go ahead and get the thing done. You know what I'm saying? So let's see how this stuff rolls. I right here, I got a four so socketed flail. Co, vex, full, thull. And we're going to go ahead and throw that in there. And uh, since in the shared stash, we don't want to go ahead and plug that in here. We're going to throw it over here. Let's see how it rolls. Co, vex, full, thull. And we've got... Where, where did it go? Where's the res at? Why am I blind here? Oh, a 34. Not great. I already have one of this 38, but I wanted to have two of them just in case I want to do a singer barb. Uh, throw one on each side. Get some FTR the other way to get to the 105 breakpoint. And teleport around. So there we go. We got a part of the oak that rolled meh. A little bit on the meh side. But is what it is because that can have up to 30 to 40 is what the range is on that one. So let's go ahead with this obedience right here. And you can make it in spears now along with pole arms but i decided i'm gonna go ahead and make one in an ethereal war axe here so i'm gonna double check this right now just to make sure you never listen to me never put the runes in in the wrong order fellas always double check it so over on the other page here i have my rune word list obedience hell co thul f fell hell co thul f fall so here we go L, Co, Dull, Eth, and Ball. It always rolls with the 370, and uh, the resistance varies from 20 to 30. So we got 28 on the resistance. It's not going to be mega huge crucial, but better. <laughs> Higher there is better than lower. So there we got an obedience, 1,254 damage on it. It is a slow attack speed, and with the crushing blow, that's why a lot of times people go with faster bases, but I want to make one up here with with a higher top end damage with that. So down here is probably one of the best ones here. Here's a low rune, and we're going to make a fortitude in a non-ethereal base. This is single player, so runes can be hard to come by sometimes depending on how high they are. I decided to make my first fortitude in a non-ethereal base, even though I kind of want to use it on my mercenary. But this way, while I'm switching around builds, I can go ahead and use it on characters that are not my mercenary. So if I want to throw my barb or on a zealer or something like that, I can go ahead and do it. So once again, we're going to double check for the fortitude. L, soul, dole, low. L, soul, dole, and low. Go ahead and plug them in. See what we got here. Boom, that's a big one. And we've got 27 on the resistance right there. That's going to be the uh, most important. I think that's another one that goes up to uh, 30 once again. So we're looking at fortitude in body arm and it's, it is 25 to 30 actually. So it's right in the middle there. And that's essentially the only thing that varies on it. So right in the middle, it's so, so it's fine with me. 1400 uh, on the defense there, just plugged it into a dust shroud so I can use it on any character. I can throw it on a mercenary. I can pretty much throw it anywhere. So that's not too shabby right there. I'm pretty happy with that. Now we're going to come over here, and I'm going to throw an oath in here. So we're going to go ahead and find that O again. Shale, pull, mal, and lum. And this one has a wide variance on the enhanced damage, 210 to 340. So we're going to go shale, pull, mal, and lum. Shale, pull, mal, and lum. Double check it, and let's get this rocket and roll in here. Shale, pull, Mal and Lum. Oh boy, Phil. Man, this is such a bad roll. I'm tempted to re-roll this. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Because like I said, it's 210 to 340. That's a, a pretty low roll there on the Oath. Boy, that's that's a rough one, fellas. That, uh, I'm, luckily, it's not a super expensive rune word. But that one might be one that I re-roll in the future. Well... Let me know down in the comments what you, what you would do, since the most expensive thing there is a Malrune, so. And then up here, I'm actually going to make a Death Axe. So, uh, I did kind of want to do it in the sword. Haven't been finding the best base for it here on single player. Hell, L, Vex, Ort, Gull. Hell, Vex, Ort, Gull right there. And let's go ahead and take a look at what the range is here. 300 to 385 on the enhanced damage. This one does get indestructible on it. 
such as down here on Oath, you see once again, it does not use a Zod, it is indestructible. This one, Death, also will. So let's hopefully we get a better roll after that bad one. So we're going to double check it once again, just LL Vex or Gull. Vex or Gull, and we'll plug it in. Gotta give me better luck on this one. Come on, RNG. 328. So 300 to 385. Once again, a bad roll on a death. Boy, great luck today, fellas, huh? <laughs> well, you can't win them all. So I'll scroll over them all one more time if you want to go ahead and take a look at their 34 res are the oak. The uh, obedience doesn't matter too much how it rolls, but it got 28 to the res on the uh, varying roll there. This one, uh, Fortitude here, I got a 27, so smack dab right in the middle. The range is 25 to 30. The death, 328. Not a great roll, not as bad as the other one down here. The oath that rolled 251. Oof. So, take some solace in that, fellas. You're not the only one that gets bad luck when rolling this stuff. Sweet Phil does quite often, too. Apparently, I can only make spirit uh, sword, swords and shields really good. Literally, every spirit shield I ever make rolls 35 FCR, it seems like so. Hey, if you get bad luck just like me, hit that like button down below and subscribe up for all the future D2 and D4 content. So, peace out, fellas. Don't forget, keep slaying.